up, y'all? The VIP lounge is where y'all at right now. You know what I mean? Y'all staring at me, your boy Ghostface. And yo, Bob Marley had like 24,350 some kids or something. You know what I mean? But yo, my man Damian Marley is just a, another one of those live dreads, yo. And they call it murder. Y'all know what time it is, man. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Damian. The mainstream aspect of it was unexpected, you know? We were confident with the song knowing that, you know, we thought the song would do well in the reggae community, you know what I mean? But the mainstream aspect of it was definitely unexpected. We as reggae musicians, our opportunity in the international marketplace has been so little and scarce over the years that whenever one of us is successful, we give thanks. But you can see why it's easier for the party music to make it in the mainstream arena as opposed to these songs that are like a bit more um, opinionated or political. So I don't really have a problem with, with what has been popular over the last couple of decades, if you want to call it that, in terms of dance, you know what I mean? I'm a lover of all music. Yeah! Hands up! Hey! Tell them to not me out when the world government is not falling out. Only few months of my falling out. Because right now we see that we have a couple of us out there who are kind of you know, pushing that, that envelope, you know, pushing that barrier to really reach into the mainstream marketplace. The mistress find on you, shoes find, can't get the news. The endless she starts to turn out. She's still searching on the youth, they're falling out. Music is a much better survival than, than hustling drugs on the street corner. You know what I mean? So to see somebody from the streets doing music and making a living out of it is something that is always good. Right about now, we about to get to my man Chuck D. Chuck D is it. My man Chuck D is the educator, the godfather, the Malcolm X of the rap game. Ain't nobody can mess with Chuck D when it's time to drop the knowledge and the science on the people like how he has dropped it. Check my man out. Flex with the Terminator and I say yes. Yes. We call ourselves the Rolling Stones of the rap game. Twenty years in and we go to all different parts of the world, 50 countries, eloquently, you know, doing hip hop music while it's live performance on songs that say something. If people actually have iPods in their pockets with 7,000 or MP3 players with 8,000 songs, you got to figure out where do you fit into that dynamic as right. opposed to figuring out what record company is going to sign you to get your videos on much music. Well, you know, Prince said it best. He said it's best that people be on top of technology because inevitably, if you're not, it's going to be on top of you. Our concerns is what's going to build our genre to the point where we have our versions of the Rolling Stones, the Who, um, Grateful Dead. Boom. Yo, that's right, yo, this shit is like nitroglycerin. You know what I mean? But next week, we still gonna get it poppin'. Till the next time. Peace, yo.